Hi, this is Lisa. We have a $100 rebate voucher for you, redeemable at popular stores like Walmart, Best Buy, Home Depot, and many more. Press 1 now to call. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Thanks for holding. What is their first and last name? Uh, mine, it's, uh, it's Vital, it's Salam, Salam Vital. You can call me Salavate for short. First name? You can call me Salavate for short. It's S A L V A T E with a little hyphenated thing on the uh, A, I think. How do you spell? Yes. How do you spell your last name? Uh, Metal. It's M E with another little hyphen on it. Uh, T A L. Just to verify that I'm not speaking to a minor. What is the year of your birthday? Uh, the year of my birthday is uh, 1947. It shows you in my system that you will be receiving a hundred dollar Vita rebate. That Good. you can enjoy anywhere shopping and groceries at any places like Walmart, Target, Best Buy and Home Depot. So congratulations. Oh well thank you. I can tell you meet her from the heart. Okay. My job here is to get this gift to the right place. And what is the best mailing address? Would you like me to send this? Yes, I'd like to lead us send it to 474 Northwest Massachusetts Avenue, Washington, D.C. 20005. That would be great. How, how, how do you spell the street? Unlike Massachusetts, like the state, you know, you you're, you uh, understand you're from America. I can tell you have a Massachusetts accent. You're probably from New England somewhere is my guess. Okay. It's 474 Northwest, and what's next? How do you spell it? Yes, West, you spell West, W-E-S-T. And what's next? What's next? What do you mean, what's next? The Avenue. The avenue, avenue, Massachusetts Avenue. Yes, Massachusetts Avenue, Washington, D.C., yeah. 20005. That's right. How do you spell it? It, I-T. What's with that? What's that? I'm sorry. As I was saying, how do you spell the avenue? A-V-E-N-U-E. -E. No, 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 it's not that. It is. That's how you spell it. I, I use spell check just before I checked it here. I have Microsoft okay. Word. It tells me what how. The next one. The next. Washington. The Washington D.C. Okay, okay. Washington D.C. West. And what's next? Uh, Massachusetts. Yeah. How do you spell it? Uh, just type M A S S. That'll be good enough. It'll get to me if you put that in there. I promise. Okay. And what? Okay. Washington, D.C. Right, that's correct. Now, that correct? how quickly can you send this to me? Because I'd like to get this $100 gift voucher to use. Uh, I'm going to probably okay. use it to go online to uh, usmint.gov and uh, and uh, redeem it there. Okay. Now, along with your gift and same package, you will also be receiving some paper information about our you know, money savings program available in your area. This will help you and your family to save a lot of money at a thousand of stores, restaurants, and even a vacation discount. Sweet. Just take a look and see what you think. And if you like it, that would be great. And if not, not a problem. Regardless of your decision, a downward dollar with all we buy is yours to keep and enjoy as our way of saying thank you for taking Oh, that's so sweet of you. Package, that is so sweet okay. of you. That's okay. very nice. Very nice. Okay. Were you gonna give me What's a fifty dollar gift? Me? Were you gonna give me a fifty dollar uh, okay. gift card to eat out to? As I was saying, the only thing that you are responsible for is to cover for all shipping and activation of your gift with a small amount of four dollar and ninety five cents. And once you receive the package, that is already activated under your name, and you can use that right away. And you, you can use that good as a cash. Can you, uh, what, is for? what is the 495 for? What is the 495 for again? For the shipping and activation oh, of your gift. Can you go ahead and uh, pay the, the, can you go ahead and pay that for me? And what I'll do is you go ahead and front it right now. When I get the gift card, I'll cash it out and, and, and mail you $5. I'll give you an extra nickel there. 
we all we do not allow to do that. Why not? Can you? So we do what they. The good thing about this, it has no expiration date. Oh, and that's your great. Your family members can use it also. And what if I don't have any so family members? What can my cats that. use it? I just have a couple of kitties. Can they use it? So yeah. Okay, thank you so much. I, my cats will appreciate that, especially so, the big, fat, soft, and cuddly okay. kitty. It looks like a panda. Okay, so where do you want me to handle that? On a tablet or credit? Uh, you, um, you can you can credit me anytime you like, or you can, but just don't debit me. I'd rather you credit to me. That's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna send me the credit for a hundred dollars. So go ahead and send that out to me. Like I said, I will pay you back. Okay, is that a Four dollars and ninety-five cents. I'm visa? gonna pay that back yeah, to you as soon as you pay me. Okay, is that a visa or mustard? What's is that? that? A visa or mustard? What about is mustard? No, we don't want mustard? ketchup or mustard on it. No, just the gift card. Mustard. No condiments. Yes. As I was saying, for us to deliver things out to you in the mail, the yeah. only thing that you are responsible for is to cover for our shipping and activation of your gift with a small amount of $4.95. Do you and accept Bitcoin? We only. So do you do you want me to handle that? Uh, with Bitcoin. On debit or credit. With Bit one? Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Let's do crypto. Let's take the crypto route. Pump and hodl. You know what I'm saying? Chain coin. Light coin. Ethereum. I got a we Steam. I got a Steam in account. I got a Steam in account. We only accept secure debit or credit cards. So this way, the customer in our company are covered by the Consumer Protection Act. So when Ooh. you want me to handle that on a debit or credit, I what you want? Yeah, yeah, we'll put it on your credit card. Let's pull your credit card out and get the three-digit code on the back. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll is that a Visa or Master? Uh, I'm not sure. Look in your pocket. It's in your back pocket in your wallet there. It should be one of the others, so my guess. It, so, I don't so think you've got a you sitting? What's that? Where am I sitting? I'm sitting on my chair. Hello? So, where do you want me to put last thing? Okay. Where do you want me to put that? On a debit or credit? I, I told you on a credit card that's, that you have in your pocket right okay. now. We want to put it there. I need that three-digit code okay. on the back as well. Read off those numbers to me. You can tell whether or not it's a Visa or MasterCard by reading the first four digits. So if you could do that, pull out your credit card, and we'll charge it to you. And then when I get the money back, uh, when I get the card, I will I will well, cash it out not, and mail it back not, to you personally. I'll mail it back to you personally. We are person not, yes, but we are not allowed to do that. Oh, you can make an exception for me. I've been very nice and sweet, and we've I talked know, about I'm cats not, and coins. No, I'm not. We are not, not allowed to do that. You're not sweet? For the last time, where do you want me to put that? On your debit or credit? Which one? On, on mine? Well, I'd rather not do that on mine. You know what I'm saying? Because then I know that you're a scammer. Okay. You're going to scam me and charge yes. me a lot more than $4.95. We don't want to be scammed. You know what I'm saying? By scamming? Uh, we, thank you for it. Thank you for your time. Have a well, good day. I'm gonna, I love wasting your time. Can you stay on?